Tell us a little bit about yourself. <laughs> oh my God, where do I start? I studied drama all four years of high school. I've dedicated years to studying the art of acting. I'm practically a master. <laughs> I am a star. I was literally born to be a superstar, okay? I was born to be on camera. <laughs> I'm gonna be bigger than Emma Watson in five years time. How do you feel knowing this will be your first ever film, your first <laughs> credit? This garbage little film? We all have to start somewhere. Tell us a little about yourself. I'm the screenwriter for the film. You can probably tell because it's very well written. This is my first professional film. My origin story, if you will. I'm gonna go on to do and write great things, unlike some of these other clowns. Me? I'm the director. I grew up watching movies with my mom. In fact, she named me after one of her favorite characters, one of her favorite movies directed by one of her favorite directors. Marion and Psycho, directed by Alfred Hitchcock. I love movies and I've always wanted to direct. Even though sometimes it can be Very difficult. I mean, I like acting, but am I gonna do this my whole life? Probably not. I don't even do much in the movie. I play Charlie's character's boyfriend, and I'm just kind of there to get killed. It's just kind of fun, especially with all the drama. I'm honestly just taking this as an elective. I can't stand all this fighting, it's exhausting. Do you believe you will have a very fruitful career? <sighs> Absolutely. You'll be seeing his face everywhere in a few years. Do you believe this film is the first stepping stone to your future career? <sighs> Absolutely not. If anything, this film will be a stain on my career. I'm only taking this class because I wanted to learn about the filming process and meet other future actors. <laughs> but honestly, this film is garbage. The script is terrible and the director doesn't even know what she's doing. Excuse me? My script is garbage? My script is gold. Her acting is garbage. What I do takes actual work and skill, and it shows. This is going to be a great film. No thanks to our lead or director. What did I do? I'm just trying to get this film made, and Vic and Charlie refuse to give me any help. Charlie won't take any directions on her acting because stars don't follow anybody's directions, and Vic refuses to take any notes on his boring slasher script. Nobody listens to me despite the fact I'm the director. Gold, did he actually say that? My character in this godforsaken, cliche-ridden, dumb slasher script only has like eight lines and two of them are ah and help. Ugh. I would love a thorough explanation of the deep complexities of my character, my unnamed character's lore. Okay. First of all, this is a short film with a time limit, not a feature. I only have so much time to tell a complete story with fully realized characters. And second off, writing is so much more intricate than acting is. I have to create and develop several characters with arcs and an entire plot. All she has to do is say some words that I wrote, by the way, but that's so hard. What? Acting is so much more than just saying words. I could go on for hours about the intricacies of vocal intonation, body language, and the most minute facial expressions that I need to perform for a role. Please don't. Regardless, acting is so much deeper and more complicated than writing a basic structured story, especially when I can't get any decent direction. I'm just trying my absolute best to keep this film on track and nobody listens, nobody's helping me, Charlie and Vic are constantly arguing and everybody ignores me. What's your take on all this fighting? I love it, it's hilarious. What's your take on all this? Honestly, I'm not even a filmmaker. I just took this as an elective. I'm just trying not to fail at this film. Ah! Ah! Oh my God. Ah! Seriously, the writing is so bad. I have no character. I can't show off my acting chops. I mean, I literally talked to Dan's character for like 30 seconds and then he's dead. And then I just have to run around and then just be chased for five minutes. I literally scream for five minutes because Vic can't write. So he just pads the runtime with meaningless fluff. I can write. I'm 
not padding out the runtime. I'm creating suspense. The writing is fine. The character is great. It's not my fault. Your acting is so bad, you can't bring her to life. Guys, I can bring characters to life fine, but you didn't write a character. No, you wrote a lifeless husk who has only one purpose, to be chased by a killer. Guys. My writing isn't the problem. Your acting is. You can't even scream properly. Oh, I can scream. I can scream right now. Guys! Look, I know tensions are high. I know how horrible it is to work with someone who has absolutely no idea what they're doing and is terrible at their job. Trust me, but we have to get this film done even if it isn't perfect. I know it's hard, but that's showbiz. We're way off schedule. We can still get this done because we're so close. All we have to do is settle down, put our differences aside and get back to work. And then maybe we can reach the deadline and make something that's pretty good. So what do you guys say? Can we do this? Can we get this film done? Can we make a movie? So, <laughs> we never finished the film. Uh, Charlie and Vic couldn't stop arguing, so we missed the deadline. So, yeah. Personally, I blame Vic. He never even bothered to fix his terrible script. What can I say? Charlie refused to do anything. It's really all her fault. Oh my god, I told you not that. 